Oh, we got goblins now too? Oh, Cyclops, help me. Oh, yo, he just showed up and he stomped the goblin. Oh my god, the Cyclops is the MVP. Yo, make berries for the for this man. Yo, right, everybody, we are here today taking a look at a little banger by the name of Super Fantasy Kingdom. This will be available to you guys as well as a demo. I'll have a link for you down below because you want to check it out for yourselves. But this one's going to be right up your alley if you're into them old roguelike city builders. Start off from nothing, build your kingdom into a blossoming society, and at the same time deal with thousands and thousands upon thousands of attacks coming your way that you have to fend off as the hero, but you're not going to do that alone. You are going to be able to employ all sorts of mythological creatures such as ogres, goblins, cyclops, whatever have you, in order to defend your kingdom. Okay. How can this be? We are dropped here in day one. You speak. How could everything just vanish? Asked the king. Welcome to the Super Fantasy Kingdom. The first step in, in every run is to place a tavern. Okay. Click on Big Building Spot for Tavern. So, I guess over here in the outskirts is fine. Or maybe down here? What do you think? Oh, no, all the way down here. You gotta go all the way to the bottom of the land if you need the tavern. Resources can be used after they've been taken to the castle. Only food gets stored in the tavern instead. Now you will need some wood, let me tell you, baby. It's always ready to go. Click on another big building spot to select the lumber yard. So lumber could be on the outskirts over here for sure. Cut down some trees. Great. Now we gotta assign workers. We have one free worker, so get your ass over to cutting down some trees for us. Next up, we need a house. House requires four wood. We only got one individual at the moment, so he's going to be working away here momentarily. We can speed up time apparently up here. Great. This is going to be us, the hero, alone for now. We can move in whatever position we want over here. I believe these are like the um, backups that we're we'll getting over time. Combat is happening. The morning is over. That was quick. And the monsters will start attacking your village. Your units attack once the targets are in range. You can see the range of the unit. Yeah, yeah. Kind of really figured that out. So... You're seeing out here in the field different things we could essentially build roads towards that will unlock different things for us. But at the moment, we have old Skeletor Man coming through the forest here trying to attack us. We also have, by the way, four wood giggity giggity goo. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a house. Next up is we have to kill, build a quarry. Quarry requires three wood. Let me have two workers now work on acquiring wood for us. And we have one Skeletor here, another one up there, and another one over there. So, our hero should automatically attack here soon. As a matter of fact, going to fast forward. Nice. Not too bad. Let's move him over here now. Attack that. Excelente. And then we'll have him over here. Oh, more Skeletons coming up still. Lots more Skeletons coming up. How dare they? Cowards? Just because they see me by myself, they think I'm going to coward to their needs? No. Uh, quarry. Let's make the quarry. I'm not really crazy about having the quarry next to the eventual kingdom castle but uh, you know it is what it is make it here the castle can only store a limited amount of resources to increase the storage you must repair it what does it need to be repaired three rocks so remove one worker from here and as a matter of fact let's do a two two or just two straight up workers in the rock so we get that done as quickly as possible what i would like to do is can i make another house oh the next house requires eight wood so this is like if we have like more workers we get a lot more of this done right well, let's make the quarry, or let's get the upgrade so we get more resources stored up, and then we'll have the house as our next priority. Oh, we got some money right there, too. Now, at nighttime, as you can see, these forces are turning red, which means they are a bit more dangerous. Quicker, faster, harder, better, stronger. That's what they bring to the table here, but luckily for us, we are still good. And we have fended off night one, everything is fine and dandy. Now, obviously, we need help, is what I'm seeing here. We can't do it by ourselves, especially once we start sending more and more units. That's only, like, you know, a small little taste. Based on what I've seen in the trailer, there's, like, millions of units. Basically, it's almost reminiscent of, like, they are billions. All right. Let's go into day number two. Who is this old man here? Hermit? You ain't want none, my friend. My friend. No, 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 no. Don't condescend me with the my friend. That's what I do to condescend people myself. You are my friend. My friend. <laughs> And who are you, friend? Everybody's a condescending prick in this game, like me. No Just an old forgotten man. He really is a hermit, too. You know, I, I know a hermit when I see one. I, I am personally one, so I know when I, I know myself when I see myself. Just an old forgotten man. 
I come with help to aid the kingdom. Here, take one of these. For free? Apparently so. An old man appears, pick a unit. Werewolf, halfling, or a cyclops? I mean, how could you not have me choose the cyclops? How could you not have me choose the cyclops? Yo, let's go. Let's smash dudes here, big boy. Your new unit was placed on the bench. Most units cannot attack from the bench, but have to be placed on the battlefield. Drag it over there to the free spaces, right? Unit gain experience when eating in the tavern. They do not like to sleep on an empty stomach. Assign jobs to the tavern to get berries. Ah, okay, okay. So, friendos. Friendos, I have a question for you. How is this uh, repair coming on? Do I have three rocks still? No. I'm gonna get those three rocks as soon as possible, so I get my, my friend up here to give me a little bit of a hand. You guys, uh, you got a rock. I see it right there. Let's go into fast speed if we can. Two rocks came in. You just need one more. One more rock. Dwayne Johnson. Oh, they're coming up already? Okay, here's what we do. Remove one feller from here and put him into the tavern. And then remove one feller from here and put him into uh, wood. It's down there, right? Oh, we got goblin style too? Oh, Cyclops, help me. Oh, yo, he just showed up and he stomped the goblin. Oh my god, the Cyclops is the MVP. Yo, make berries for the for this man. I need him in my life. Oh, by the way, Falcon, can you um, restore this so we... Yeah, see, we need it. This is going to multiply our storage by two, which will make our wood supply be able to go from a four to an eight, which we need it for the extra house. So the game kind of like, you know, pigeonholes you into this getting this first before right, right. Now, roads is where we're able to, you know, build ourselves to move to different interesting spots that we're noticing over here. But, you know, one, one of those things at a time. Um, they're going to stop working. It's nighttime, unfortunately. Damn. So we got four wood, huh? Got four wood. I feel like because my boy is a hopper, we should, yeah, switch him this way. The Cyclops is apparently, he's the fastest dude of all time. Could you imagine a Cyclops with that amount of speed? Just jumps wherever he wants and lands on you? It's a little unfair. I'm glad I picked him. <laughs> I'm okay with unfair units in my squad. Don't be alarmed, wench. It's only, um... The local Cyclops. He's here to eat and I'm pretty sure ingest and other human delicacies as well. Yes, she knows exactly where she's going already. <laughs> oh, that Cyclops. Alright. So how are we doing over here? We still got some food? Great. Um Here's what I'm gonna do. I need you guys to get this wood, because the faster we get the extra work, and then we can have somebody just making food all the time and get everything else ready. I also need to build a road. For the road, what do we need? I think it mentioned over here, right? It requires stone. Do we have stone? We got two extra stones. Let's head over to here. This is kind of interesting. It looks like it might lead us to fund the expansion. Sure. To survive, you need more units. The easiest way is to build roads to the home of a human unit in the world. There you can purchase and upgrade that unit. Ah. Is that right? It's a fighter. He gets stab and he gets taunt. Okay. And I need four rocks to purchase this guy. What does he want? Rocks? What does he want? Like money or berries? Oh, you know, I just, I just want minerals, please. It's like, okay, cool. <laughs> we'll get to you eventually, dog. What's your need for minerals? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I can I ever pause this game? You can. Okay, pause is space. Um, We have aid, which is perfect, because now I can make my house. An extra worker is beautiful. Put him in here. Hey, let me have one... Let's do a 1-1. One, one. Are these sorceresses coming our way? Seems that way. With a little gobble action over there too, huh? Okay, let's speed it up. Are you guys collecting rocks still? Yes. Two rocks are coming my way as a matter of fact right now. Oh, baby. Oh, we're gonna do it. We got it. Pause. Okay. So now, remove one, go back into wood, and you, my friend, are now... Ah, they gotta, it gotta be moved to the storage. Horse, move to the storage. <laughs> what are you doing? One... Ooh, storage. Ah, ah. Okay, great. We got it now. Four rocks. Hey. For now, let's bring my new unit and put them right there. Let's see what this unit's all about. How fast is it in comparison to me? Because I'm on a horse. Um. Yo, these horses are really strong. They take quite a few hits. Uh, my friend, do you ever want to, uh, you know, do something? <laughs> He's got a very, very, you know what? We gotta put him up front. He's got like a very small radius of attack. Very, very small. Oof. Not sure about this guy. 
I guess we could upgrade him, right? Requires stone to upgrade. Well, he better move now, because now they're coming in faster. He better do something now. Okay, he does like a little slash, huh? Okay. Okay. Oof. Scary stuff. <laughs> that was scary stuff. Okay. Now. Day four. We, uh, apparently it's raining, so we're wet. I'm not sure what kind of effect that has on us. So in order to upgrade this feller... I see upgrade there, I just can't tell. It's, is, it, is it telling me aid rock? Like, that is a very... Hold up. <laughs> I gotta go, like, to two times? Oh god, this... Oh god, this UI is huge this way, but it'll have to do. Yeah, I, think, I feel like we need two times UI. Because I'm playing, like, in 1440p, so it makes the UI very, very small. Luckily, it does have the option to scale it, so there is that. So it does seem, even though the upgrade thing is literally covering it, I think it says eight rocks in order to upgrade this feller. And I feel like we need to upgrade this man for sure. To make him a more reputable fighter in our society. So we need... Oh, we can do this as well. How about that? Um, we need eight rocks. So food, we're, we definitely need one person in food at all time. Let's go into rock duty for sure. And if I wanted to build another house, what am I looking at? 16 wood. Another one would be nice. This generates water. Geologist comes in with 12 if we create that. Geologist. Productivity shine and the speed shrine. Hmm. These new enemies coming up are fairly sturdy in nature. Oof. Okay, hold on. Uh, I can upgrade this feller now. Leveling increases stats while ranking up improves active and passive abilities. Well, I hope it was useful because this, uh, this radius still is still pretty garbage. I'm not sure if it was worth it. But then again, I couldn't uh, upgrade the Cyclops because he apparently requires gold bars, it seems. So yeah, we're far away from that. Well, let's see how we do here. At least he swiped. At least he's swiping now, so that's kind of alright. My goodness, God. Them's a lot. Defeat remaining monsters because Nightfall is here. Let's we'll speed it up. I'm kind of curious. I mean, part of me is curious to see what happens if they actually get through. I mean, I can't imagine it being good. But there's a part of me that's kind of like, hmm, I wonder. But you know what? This is not going to be the night. Because we were actually able to fend it off. And we got some gold out of it, too. Well, I mean, at least I'm thinking I'm getting gold. Yeah, it is gold, but it's treasure. Which I'm not really sure what we use that for. Maybe we gotta, like, build some sort of specific building that then we could purchase, you know, goods for on the fly. Two more glory has been acquired. Four leaks. <laughs> I don't know what it means by four leaks. Who's leaking? Oh, yo, look at this. The fighter actually got the most kills this time. So that upgrade, not too bad. Basically, whenever the units actually huddle up up there, because of his, like, crazy swipe attack that does, like, area of effect, then he's pretty good. So you know what? I was over here thinking, man, I was uh, full upgrading this dude. Nah, man. Not too bad. Okay. Well, we got rocks, so... Oh, yo, can we get a permanent starting resource? Oh! Okay. Hey. So this would be for future runs, because uh, it's a roguelike, so we're going to eventually fall and fail, and then you could start out uh, when you start your runs, you get to choose like what class you want to use right now. It's, it's the demo, so we only have the hero class, but there's a lot of other classes you could, uh, it's going to be in the full game. But um, there's also ways to start off if you use gold to start off with more attack power or more speed or whatever. So it's a roguelike in that regard. The more runs you do, the more powered up you'll be able to start in future runs and do better. Um, but at the moment, um, we have treasure, might as well use it. What do you want to start off with? Uh, stone seems to be the one early on that could be useful. It's gonna require two... <laughs> way too much. I mean, if we're just looking to build a sawmill, we just need a bit more room, right? So... One and one. Fun, Dad. There it is, perfect. Building sawmill requires five, which we already have. Make it happen. Now you can produce boards to build a gold mine. The gold mine does not allow you to mine gold ore, but you can also upgrade it to unlock. It not only allows you to mine gold ore, but you can also upgrade it to unlock the geologist. He can find new stone and gold ore. Build a gold mine. Okay. 
Now we're making a little bit of progress, but we're also more than likely gold mine. We need a big, big spot for that, don't we? One and three. We can make that happen through here. Gold mine requires three stone and two boards. So the stone's almost about to come in. And then we need to have a worker here for that. So you know what? Let me remove one from here, put him in there to make some boards for us, and still one working for the food. <gasps> they have uh oh man, I'm forgetting. I'm blanking on the name. What's the name for this? Medusa? Is it kind of like a Medusa head? Kind of? Oh, I'm missing on. I think I got their name wrong. It's supposed to be kind of like a Medusa head, though, right? Gorgon? Is it a Gorgon? I think it might be a Gorgon. If I'm wrong, correct me. And please tell me what it is, because it's bothering me. But I feel like that's right there. Should be a Gorgon. Um, let's speed up. Let's see. Is this a time where we fall with the Gorgons coming at us? Honestly, we hold up. We're at six stones and two of this. Is that enough to gold mine? Yes, sir, Bob, it is. Upgrade the lumber jar to unlock the forester, a special job that will plant new trees since running wild spaces. And then we have to upgrade the lumber yard for the next one, which requires five stone. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We still have one worker through there. Hmm. Not sure if we need the boards right now, so let's remove from that, from that. And it's gonna be for gold. Let's do it that way. I think it's almost time for us to bring in a new worker as well. So, if anything, if we could have like, uh... In fact, this way? I think it might be better. I think we just need an extra worker. Right now with three, you know, we're really pretty much just split very thin. So let's focus- oh god, they all powered up. So let's focus right now on... A new house before we do an upgrade to the lumber yard or make a sawmill or make whatever thing else. Right now, I think it's all about more work, so we stop, you know, splitting our units very thin here. How we doing? Oh no, you would have got down. You cannot use its skills or be moved anywhere, but don't worry, you can get it back. At night, down units enter the tavern first. As long as they get any kind of food, they recover it to full health. Okay. They do not gain any experience from it, though. You can build a graveyard to move down units out of the way. So my Cyclops went down. I'm not happy about that. Oh, my fighter went down too. I think it's going to be over for us pretty soon, boys. These Gorgons. It was the night of the Gorgons, man. It did it. It did it to us. Oh, it did it to us. Did. Look at the Gorgons just come in here and just wreck everything. To follow the kingdom. But again, as I mentioned, it's a roguelite, so... But the things that we did right now, with the starting resources we have unlocked, and with the money that we have left over, then on the next time I take a run, you can now power up your hero to start off a bit stronger, and with more resources as well. Which does indeed, you know, build to the entire roguelike style of gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. All the information down below, it's a demo available to you guys as well. Definitely check it out. I'll catch you next time.